How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I thought I would go ahead and share with you guys some uh, favorites. So I guess I'll, I guess I'll call this uh, September favorites. I was gonna say current favorites, but I know we're into October, so maybe I'll just call it September favorites. So let's get started because I don't want this to be a real long video for you guys. And um, I'm gonna start in with the skincare and hair care as I always do, and then work into the makeup. So, all right. Um, the first thing I'll go ahead and share with you guys is a lip product I really like a lot. It's a lip balm. It's lip butter uh, from Nivea, this lip butter. And they come in these little containers. You can also get them in a, um, just in a lip balm tube also. So if you're somebody that doesn't like to dab your finger into, because I know some people get a little freaked from that, but I'm not usually one that's bothered with that. But if you are, you can um, use something else even if you want to. Well, this one's in the Vanilla Macadamia. Um, kiss. I do have caramel kiss still. Anyway, um, I really love this lip butter. It is very moisturizing. I like it to use it at night before I'm going to bed. I put it on before I put lipstick on or just anytime throughout the day. Like if I just feel like I want a little something on the lips and keep them hydrated and moisturized. So I really like this guy. I really like the company Nivea anyway. So I use this for the skin and for the hair, and um, this was sent to me by uh, Levin Rose. It's their jojoba oil. I did a whole video on this explaining about the benefits of jojoba oil and what it does for you. Um, so I will put a link down below to that video. I won't get fully into it, but I'm loving this oil. Um, I'm really feeling like, because jojoba oil does help, I'll, I'll say this much for acne, and I really feel like it's helping my face a lot more, um, as in just keeping it hydrated and, and balanced right. I don't know. I just feel like ever since I've been using this, I've been noticing some differences with, um, still like whenever I would have, uh, some leftover bumps and whatever, they're, they're, it's helping. Put it that way, it's just, it's helping. But I also love it for the hair because I did do a thing where I showed um, you guys for frizziness and all that and just to help keep my curls more managed and, um, you know, just look more defined. But Live in Rose, really nice company. I cannot wait to try some other items from them, some other oils and stuff. So really been enjoying that for both hair and face. Also for the face, I was looking for something, a toner of some sort. I know some people say you don't have to use a toner, um, but some people do feel that you need to use a toner. And one of the things um, that um, Natalie, the beauty diva, I will put a link down below to her. I'm sure most of you guys know her. If you don't, I'm putting a link down below to her because she is very helpful with a lot of um, items and products and stuff. You know alcohol is in quite a few of these different toners out there now a toner i do really like that i feel is affordable is mario badescu and his rose water i really love that rose water mist spray just love that i had purchased from and i don't have it here i should have brought it with me there is an equate brand that is compared to, to clinique's toner and you know, I did find like, yeah, it has alcohol in it. And now with the way my skin texture is and everything, like just the way my skin is, um, I didn't feel like it was really helping me. I feel like it wasn't helping me at all, really, you know, and um, I wasn't enjoying it. It was pretty, pretty good price, you know, obviously for a nice size bottle, but I really wasn't impressed with it and I wouldn't repurchase it. I wasn't loving it. So when I was in there, I was kind of looking, I was just looking around and I was looking in the simple, um, what do they call this? The simple, well, the simple brand. 
I was looking through the Simple brand because I knew they had that water that a lot of people were talking about. Anyway, this is Simple Sensitive Skin Experts. This is a soothing facial toner and it's 100% alcohol free. And you know, there is no harsh chemicals, no parabens, no, you know, they're, they're no animal tested. They're just, they're a pretty, pretty good company out there. I'm sure a lot of you guys know. And I'm really liking this. I mean, just no scent to it um, at all. It is just a really nice facial toner. So if you're looking for a facial toner, but that's not high end priced kind of a thing, and you're trying just to find something that's more budget friendly, I would say look into this one because this one is alcohol free. Okay, so the next two face products I've really been liking. I got this in like a deluxe size sample kind of package from Sephora. And I do really like Origins. I, I've been really liking them a lot. And this is the uh, Ginseng Refreshing Scrub Cleanser. And you know me and my ginseng kick. I'm just on this ginseng kick um, for anything. Face masks, um, moisturizers, and all that kind of stuff. This here is a really, I love this facial scrub. The beads in it are not harsh or hard on your skin at all. It is a really nice, fine scrub. But it's a really nice face scrub. Love it. Um, another company, again, um, now this is like I'm all over the place, are high end and then affordable price uh, products. Queen Helene is a company I really like too. I really feel for me, like I always say, it works for me anyway, but the Queen Helene brand has worked a lot for me in their face masks, especially. I have quite a few of their face masks and their face scrubs, and I really. I really love them. They work great and they're really great priced. Mine I find in Sally Beauty Supply. I know sometimes Walmart carries them. Um, you can purchase online. I believe even Alta I think sells Hel Queen Helene if I wasn't mistaken unless they got rid of Queen Helene. I'm not sure but this is the Mud Pack Mask. Now, I think online, I see now it comes in a tube. I don't know. It just smells natural, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. There's no awesome, you know, scent to it. But this is a wonderful mask, and it revitalizes and detoxifies, and it's anti-aging it has here. And um, it's been working for me. So I really like the Queen Helene brand. Now we can get into some hair care. All right, so for hair care, company reached out and sent me some products, and I was super excited because I'd done a video on organics, that B5 uh, oil mist spray, and how much I was loving it. Um, if you did not see that video, I can put a link down below. Love that stuff, and I still do. I really do love it. Um, but they have their pro line, and they're calling it Pro Organics. Um, and these two items here, this one's similar to that. Um, that B5, you know, like how it's a, a oil, like kind of mist. Hold it up that way. Okay, this has coconut water. And you know the benefits of coconut water. And they're calling it the Quench Leave-In Moisture and nor Nourish. Um, this has been awesome in my hair. Like I obviously wash my hair and condition, which they did send me the... the uh, shampoo and conditioner. I will have a video up and I will do more about this these products here but I really like this. This is like a mist that you can just spray in your hair and then this here is the moisture balm. This is a balm uh, hair balm that you can put in your hair. So This also like helps calm little flyaways and it just really has helped calm some more frizziness and stuff and it smells good again like I said like coconut you smell the coconut water and I think I will be needing this quite a bit right now again while we're getting into fall and winter and then another hair product I really like this is the got to be kinkier you've heard me talk about this many different times I'm hoping I still can get a hold of this because 
It is a double curling power. It's a gloss defined curling cream. Um, I do have the mousse and I like the I, I have the mousse and I have the spray. But I do prefer the curl cream just a little bit more better mm, because it makes my curls more softer. The mousse doesn't make my hair stiff like most mousses can, if you know what I mean. But I just prefer the curl cream just a little bit more. All right, makeup. Um, I have two primers here for the face that I'm really liking um, and I've been working between the two of them. One is the Garnier uh, Five Second Blur. You guys know a lot about this one here. You probably see me do it in some of my looks um, that I do. And then another primer that's really surprising me and if you're somebody that does not like that silicone feel and you want the moisturizer feel, now Too Faced makes Hangover Hanger, Hangover FX, I think is what it's called. I have that and I do really like that. It's a really nice um, um, primer. Jeez, I can't spit it out. And it feels like almost like you're putting a moisturizer more on your face than a primer. And that's nice. You know, a lot of people like that. But if you are on a budget and you want that kind of sim similar feeling and have something like that more so, this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer. So I would say if you are looking for something close to that and you don't like that slickiness or anything, uh, look into the Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer. This is a really good primer. All right, foundation. I've always loved this foundation anyway, and this is the L'Oreal uh, Lumi, the Lumi foundation. Now this one here, I did have a video up, and I'm gonna re-put it up here at some point. Um, my in-laws had sent me some stuff from England, and um, so they sent me a couple bottles of the L'Oreal Lumi foundation. The one thing I love the packaging from over there more than ours just I mean it's just something small and simple but like ours has the more uh, silver kind of whatever to the pump where theirs has the rose like a rose gold and I think that's I don't know I just like that just a little bit more um, nothing major you know um, mine is in, since it's coming from England, is Rose Pearl is the shade. Like a lot. So I've been using this one. As a matter of fact, that's what I have on today. And it gives me really nice coverage. Um, and it's, you know, a hydrating um, foundation. All right. Concealer. I have shown this concealer many, many times but it's in a favorites for a reason because it is a favorite of mine and it is from Laura Geller and it comes in this container that looks just like how her balance and brighten and blushes and all that kind of stuff this is the dream creams concealer highlighter and highlighter palette mine's in porcelain fair now I'm not sure if she has I know she has um I didn't see the porcelain fair there I seen the other one that was um, light and medium kind of shades. Consistency of this thing, which the Dream Creams, she has lipsticks that's called Dream Creams and they're like in separate little different colors, like there's strips of different colors of her uh, Dream Cream lipsticks. Should have had that here and I don't, but anyway the concealer was in the same form but like I just mix it all together and mix it all up um, I dab a little bit over here because it is a little more darker here and then dab over this way it's a little more lighter. Um, you can use this as like all over if you want to use it as almost like a foundation. But I just, it's very creamy, buttery um, concealer. And it is just, I'm not sure how well, it is just so nice when you blend it in. I was like using that little mark that I have on my hand that everybody sees, probably my mole, how it covers that. Look at that. See? Um, oh, primer. Another primer 
is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I have like a little, little dinky one. I forget what this came with. Probably like one of my eyeshadow palettes that I purchased. I like this um, primer. It is a really nice primer. I see why a lot of people like it. Eyeliners. I have a couple eyeliners here. And the first two I have are both from the Rimmel Scandal Eyes. Is that what they are? Yeah, the Rimmel Scandal Eyes. Uh, this one's in black, just the bl basic black. The Rimmel Scandal Eyes are by far probably one of, if not the best, I think, in drugstore eyeliners. Um, and then I have the Nude or Nakedy Nudey shade, which this is great to kind of put in the waterline to make your eyes more open. Um, this is a really good one. And the black, this black one, for me, I can get right up in the upper inner to make that tight line. I can, this one here, I can really make a good black, uh, you know, for the tight line. This one surprised me, and I really like it, and I might try some more from Sephora. It's, it, it was in that kit that I got um, it was the it was a summer kit. You got like um, highlighters and bronzers and all kinds of stuff in there. And um, this is Sephora, and it says it's a waterproof cocoa. It's their waterproof eyeliner. I'll show you there. It's waterproof. This is a really nice. Now it's a pretty shade. I like it. It, it's really smooth and creamy and it's worked really good in the in the waterline um, all right so for face we'll go into face <laughs> so for the face um, I've been using this blush palette a lot lately it's from Mally uh, Mally Beauty this is her pink pink diamond blush and her pure light highlighter this is a really good highlighter. Everybody I know raves a lot about, and I do have one here, the uh, Becca highlighters, and they're great. But Mally's, I feel, is just as good as those because the way it applies on the cheeks, like some you can get where it just it'll emphasize like some of your, uh, especially as we get older, like your lines and everything. And hers don't even do that either. But this one's in Pink Diamond, the blush color. I've been using this color a lot. And then the other side, you see, that's her highlighter. Um, here's the... These are like um, a cushiony... A cushiony feel to them. That's Pink Diamond there. Her blush. And then her highlighter... There's her highlighter there. See? Look what I mean. Look what I mean. Look what I mean. Look what I mean. <laughs> I just don't know what's wrong with me today. But see what I mean is what I meant to say. <laughs> All right. And there it is right there. Do you see that? Look. There. Um, gorgeous. It's of a champagne shade and it's they're they're wonderful and you can get you know like these together effortless i'm sorry i didn't say that these are her effortless effortless airbrush um blush and highlighter so then the highlighter i was saying about becca is the opal i got this also with that sephora eyeliner i was talking about with the summer stuff this is the becca opal it is a very gorgeous Obviously, as you guys have seen many times, highlighter. Get a little bit more in there. Can you guys see that? The all famous opal. Um, oh, I have this brush here from Mally. I forgot to share. This comes with well, if you get it from QVC, you can get this with the blush and highlighter. I like this brush really well. This is so perfect to put on 
did I say brush or blush? But this brush is perfect for, because um, I use this side, of course, to do the blush. And it's just that per perfect blush, like when you swivel it around, it's just perfect. And then this side I use for my highlight. And just sweep it across on the uh, cheekbones, and it's just, it's great. I really like that. So I've been really, I've been using that a lot with not just her blushes, but like, other blushes and other highlighters so another face product can't say enough about this and it's Fergie's wet and wild uh, take on the day that take on the day powder um, I can't say enough I I have been mad on this I it's been in almost every favorites that I've had for months now and I can't say enough about it, it is a really really good um, after you finish your whole makeup look to set everything and I can't like I said can't just say enough and it's from Wet Wild. For eyes I have a couple eyeshadow palettes that I've been using a good bit lately one is the Anastasia um, what is this one called? World Traveler Anastasia World Traveler I haven't really gotten to show you guys a look or do a whole whatever with it but um Here's the shades here. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And it comes with a nice brush. Um, there's like the fluffy side and then another side that's like a little more to define in the crease there. Really nice. Um, and for, it's $30. I think that is an amazing price for what you get and quality. I think it's great. This palette, however, I'm so sorry you can't get it. It was from last year or the year before. It was the Wonder Vision Wonder Vision palette. And I've been seeing because like all these palettes are coming out for the holidays now and everybody's showing, you know, showing them all. And I started thinking about how much I have loved this palette. This was the one that came out a couple it came out a couple years ago. And like, as you can see, you get blushes on the side here, and then you get this bronzer, which that's what I liked. You had a, like a bronzer and some blushes. Um, you could use this here uh, kind of to highlight a little bit, but there really isn't a highlight in here. Um, today, I do have some shadows on from this palette. And of course, I was using some orange, an, of an orange shade, like, you know, like see that? That's like so intense, a burnt orange color, you know, there it is there. I worked with that and then some other orange colors in the palette. Last but not least, two lippies that I've been using. One is on my lips right now and I really like it a lot and I actually showed it in a recent haul video not long ago and it is the Hard Candy, um, what was it, the... Um, Oh goodness, what was it now? Newly Buried. That's what I have on my lips right now. Newly Buried. In the center I have that lip gloss. If you watched my video, I'll put that down below. It's the lip gloss from Milani. Um, that's kind of what I did in the center a little bit. But there was the shade. Yeah, I'll probably... Of course. So that's what I have on my lips right now. And the other one I've been using quite a bit, quite a lot, is from the Lorac Lorac Alter Ego, and this was this one is in Goddess. I love these lipsticks, but that's the shade there. It's another one that's like purplish of a shade, but it's matte. That is it right there. These are nice lipsticks, and that is it. So thank you so much beauties for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that so much. Help me out a lot. Get my videos out there more. And um, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. You can join me each week. I will have videos up and um, just anything relative to beauty in itself a lot of times. And um, as always beauties, please remember to just be yourself. Love yourself and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you all take care, and I will see you then. Bye-bye. Love you guys all. Bye-bye.